live from San Diego, California, it's theCUBE, covering Cisco Live US 2019. Brought to you by Cisco and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE. Our coverage of Cisco Live day three is in full effect. I'm Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. And we have a couple <laughs> of guests joining us. We've got Mike Bundy, head of Cisco Strategic Alliances from Guess Where? The jacket should give it away. Pure Storage. And Tom Koppelman, the VP of Architecture Sales Americas for Cisco. Hi guys. Hi, hi, how you doing? Thanks for bringing more brightness to our set. <laughs> yeah, I forgot my sunglasses. Uh, I know, we, we, we're in the, the buzzy, bright DevNet zone. We've been here all week. Great event, massive event, my goodness. 28,000 folks or so. Mike, let's start with you. Give us a status of the Pure Cisco relationship, the evolution of that, where you guys are now. What is, is exciting? Sure. So. Uh, the relationship is it's un unbelievable in terms of the uh, amount of synergies and energy we have together. In fact, Tom uh, at Cisco was, was really involved in the early uh, genesis of this relationship uh, prior to me joining the company. And in the last couple years, we've probably doubled in terms of our go-to-market and sell to customers together. So, a tremendous growth. Um, you know, partnership brings brings a value to us because of the strong um, heritage that we have from a DevNet uh, tie-in in terms of all the automation that we have in the platform. So it's just just a tremendous, tremendous, great partnership. So. Yeah. And Tom Cisco has a lot, of, a massive partner ecosystem, a lot of choice. What is it about Pure Storage that is providing advantages to Cisco? Where, where it's helping customers really kind of bridge this gap between hyper-converged, multi-cloud, hybrid, all that jazz. Right, so uh, you know, Pure was a first mover in, in terms of flash storage, right? So we saw demand from our customers wanting that technology uh, to improve their data center environments. And, um, and when we partnered up early, we were able to kind of capture that momentum, right? And when I think about our go-to-market with Pure, which is really where I kind of focus, there's very little friction in that relationship, right? There's not a lot of, there's not competitive overlap, there's, there's not things like that, so it's, it's, it's technology that the customers want, that they ask for, right. and um, a good field go to market and leadership on both sides that are willing to invest and get engaged and move the relationship forward. So what else are you guys doing besides just the go to market partnership? Because I got a hold of this, uh, this timeline of Cisco validated designs that, that, that Pure and Cisco have put out over the last uh, five years, four years. Right. And there's like 13 milestones on there, so it's roughly three a year. Of course, it started with Pure's IPO, so that's when Cisco right. said, all right, these guys are real. Yeah, yeah. Start working with them. And in early <laughs> days, well, of course, you started with FlashStack, that was the, the flagship product. Right. And then VDI, everybody does VDI, analysts were like, yeah, yeah, everybody does VDI. But then it started really accelerating the cadence. So it's more than just go to market. What's beneath that, you know, go to market? Yeah, so question. Yep. You want to? Go ahead, you, you hit so, the highlights of the CVDs yeah, and whatnot. I would, I would say that, you know, Pure, this is our number one partnership that we have from an alliance perspective. The investment uh, is far exceeding other partnerships we have. So the amount of product integration that we're doing is tremendous. As you see there, we've, we've, we've focused on ACI and multi-data centers in the last couple years. Uh, we're focusing on AI and machine learning most recently. Um, and beyond that, we just signed uh, an agreement and have released a uh, resale of Cisco's sand switches in the marketplace. It's the first resale agreement we've ever done as a company, and uh, you know, it just further shows the commitment and resources that we're willing to put into you know, making sure the partnership is successful and continues to grow and evolve. Um, and on top of that, the uh, investment in Cisco Intersight, in integrating with Cisco Intersight, the management platform, which is very important to us, it just shows the commitment of the partnership. Let's talk more about that. Uh, so, uh, how does that how does that work? What what problems is that solving for customers? Well, it, so uh, Cisco Intersight is our is our cloud-based management right. offering for compute, and and Pure has integrated their storage platform as as part of that solution. So, allowing customers, whether they're con, uh, it's a converged solution. Uh, uh, just raw compute, a hyper-converged solution, but allowing them to manage those pools um, and, and deliver that uh, via a cloud uh, solution. So, so Pure plugs into the Cisco API, now you're part of that stack essentially, so it's transparent right. to the customer, and, 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 and Cisco's management plane 
takes care of all that. Is exactly that right? right, correct, yes. Yeah, it's a big deal for us because it, it, it was the first integration with Intersight uh, for many storage partner that Cisco has, right? So first to market, uh, we want to embrace hyperconvergence, which is a big important priority for Cisco, and also bridging that gap. So as we compete against you know, single vendor stacks, we have the right solution that customers are looking for, and, and ultimately that's, that's why it's so important for yeah. us. Yeah, Pure is big on first. You first to Flash, you just mentioned another first. You were first with NVMe. Before that you were first with the Evergreen. Yes. Right. You like being first. First orange <laughs> sport coat. <laughs> that's definitely first there. <laughs> Let's talk about customer value though. Obviously, that, that's what it's all about. As we look at not just the tremendous amount of choice that customers have when it comes to technology partners, but also the amount of data that's being generated that's growing astronomically, yet organizations are getting so little value out of that because they can't extract the insights. What are you guys doing together leveraging the superpowers of AI and machine learning to help customers in any industry start to really, not just monetize that data, but really accelerate their businesses? Right. Tom, you're smiling, so let's start with yeah. you. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so we came out with, with a, a, uh, an AI server, right, um, our, our ML480, and um, we've integrated that. Uh, Pure has invested, we've both invested and done an integration between Flash Blade, and I'll let Mike talk a little bit about Flash Blade and the value proposition of Flash Blade, but integrated that with our AI server, and our AI server is an NVIDIA powered uh, uh, server, so it essentially gives you scale of processing and capabilities to allow you to kind of capitalize on all that data and get the, so the customers can get the information they need out of that. If you want to take a second on, yeah. on Flash Blade. And you know, AI is, is the buzz, it's the, it's, it's the hot you know, two letter acronym in the industry these days. It, you know, $13 billion infrastructure opportunity, et cetera, et cetera. So what, what Pure is really focused on is data is the you know, new oil of commodities for customers and clients. And what, what we built is a platform called Flashblade and an architecture called the Data Hub that allows you to not have to copy data and move it around and create silos and data warehouses. So you can, you can much easier execute a data strategy with the Data Hub architecture using Flashblade. And you know, when you look at machine learning in terms of how you build a data pipeline so that you can then get to quicker results from a business application standpoint with AI, that's what we've built together with Cisco. And you know, we're, we're uber, uber, super excited. A number of customers already in the last couple months. So. All right, so I'm going to push a little bit on that because the AI server, AI storage, like people don't associate storage and server guys with, with AI. But what if I hear you correctly, there's a $13 billion opportunity for workloads, uh, it, it, to manage workloads running on your servers and your storage. Correct. And so you're optimizing them for AI workloads, right? Absolutely, yes. and, and exactly right. So you're not necessarily inventing AI, no. you're providing Correct. infrastructure so that people can leverage AI, is that yes. right? Yeah, and, and we, we, you know, the same way that we built APIs together to work with Intersight, we do that in a way that allows our customers to leverage, you know, cafe, you know, other applications that can help build that data pipeline. So, you know, we build the platform from the infrastructure level that makes the management easy, and we partner with all of the applications at the top end, but also the middleware and that software prepackage layer that connects via APIs to us. So it's, it's easy, it's agile, it's manageable, it's a cloud-like experience, you know, for the customers, right? Easy, agile, all awesome, but security, absolutely critical today. Yes. What are you guys doing, Tom, we'll start with you. How are you guys working together to infuse and integrate security into the technology so that from a customer's perspective, those risks that dial down? Yeah, so so we're in, Cisco's integrating security across all of our product portfolio, right? Um, and and that includes our, our data center portfolio all the way through our campus, our WAN, uh, um, all those portfolios. So we continue to look for opportunities to um, to integrate, you know, whether it's. Uh, dual factor authentication or, or things like secure data center with a fire, you know, uh, a highly scalable multi-instance firewall in front of a data center, things like that. So we're, we're definitely looking for areas and angles and opportunities for us to not only integrate it from a product standpoint, but also ensure that we are ha talking that story with our customers so that they know they can, they can leverage Cisco for the full architecture yeah. from a security standpoint. And the same thing on the storage of the data from an encryption perspective and as the data gets moved 
or is mobile, you know, that, that level of security and policy follows it, you know, wherever the data is moved, so. so what should we expect on the, you know, what's next in the time? What's 14 going to look like? You don't have to give us specifics, but we're we going to see blockchain CVDs or what, what should observers think about the partnership going forward? What can we look forward yeah, to? Yeah, I mean, the adoption of container capability yeah. is tremendous in our partner, in our customer's environment. So uh, Cisco has a, a cloud container platform yeah. available today. Uh, we're integrating that into FlashStack in the very near future. Um, you know, embracing the cloud, um, you know, Disaster recovery and data protection is, is uber, I mean, it's, it's, it's very hot for customers, so improving that experience so that you have faster restoration times. Uh, you're able to look at a multi-tier strategy that's very easy to manage from a storage perspective, leveraging S3 with Amazon, uh, Azure, et cetera. So that's, that's you know, the couple things that are on the short term uh, building block together. Yeah, I was going to comment on certainly multi-cloud and containers. Those would be the two of the big yep. ones that, that I'd hit on, right? And in the, in the event of multi-cloud, leveraging converged and hyper-converged together to better solve the customer's problems. As a, so, okay, so that was going to ask you. So hyper-converged now becomes a bridge to the cloud if in fact that's where customers want to go. Yes, yes, it can be. I, I, Absolutely. It, yeah, yeah, it can be, yes. Absolutely. Go. Cool. Well guys, thank you so much for joining Dave and me on the program, sharing with us the momentum that the Pure Cisco relationship has and what excites you for the future. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Yep. Thanks you guys. Thank you. For Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Cisco Live San Diego. Thanks for watching. <laughs>